Hi, I'm Jeff from Grand Design RV. You know, solar is all the rage these days. In fact, every single Grand Design that we build has a solar panel on it. But today, I'm gonna highlight the next step in solar. If you're looking at a solitude or some select big momentums, I wanna show you something that very well may appeal to you. I'd like to introduce Dave from Future Solutions. Hey, Dave. Hey, Jeff. So we partnered with you guys to come out with, with this behemoth. What is this? Yeah. So this is an advanced energy system. I like to call it the EOP, Extreme Lithium Package. And what this will do, will actually invert and be able to run the entire coach. The entire coach? Yes, sir. Now, when you say the entire coach, I think people are used to, hey, I can run my refrigerator, I can run, you know, the, the lights and things like that. When you say the entire coach, we're talking about appliances as well, TVs, microwaves, air conditioners? Conditioners, yes, you can include those. Wow. okay, so this is going to run everything. So take me through how this works. You know, there is a solar component to this, but it's more than that, right? Yes. There's four solar panels up top, 330 watts apiece. 1,320 watts total. Okay, so that's a lot of energy coming in, and it's coming in and it's coming down to this, which is going to be in the front of the unit. And when it comes in, it goes to these, right? These are charge controllers, yep. right? So how does that work? There's two 50 amp charge controllers here. And okay. the reason that there's two is because you have 1,320 watts of solar on the roof. So to be able to capture and harness all the energy at peak sun, we need a 250 amp controller. Okay, so the energy comes down, that makes it available for the battery, and the battery uh, holds that energy, right? And then that's the solar side of it. On the other side- Which the solar isn't running everything, the solar is charging the battery, so the batteries can help us. In. Right, I think there is a little bit of a, a misconception there. A lot of people think, I have to put a solar panel up top, it's gonna run things. Well, that's not true. We, we need the solar to charge the battery. The battery then uses that energy, and and it goes to, well, in this case, these here, these inverters, right? These these gigantic inverters. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Yeah, there's, so there are two 3K hybrid inverters. So 3,000 watts a piece. Yes, you okay. have to have the 6,000 watts to be able to run three ACs if that's what you choose to do. Okay, okay. So this is going to, the, this is now gonna be drawing from the batteries, which we'll look at in just a second. And this is going to be taking that battery power, turning it into power available for all the uh, AC appliances, right? Okay, wow. And so what else do we have in this system here? I know we do have a uh, an alternate way of getting energy to the system, right, with the truck. Yeah, we have a DC to DC 60 amp con uh, controller here. Okay. Uh, this can hook up to the tow vehicle. Okay. This is separate from the bargeman. This, uh, this will be a lot better and faster charge than the bargeman plug. Gotcha, so most people, you know, they think trickle charge the battery, just hook up the seven way, that's gonna do it. This is going to be an alternate connection, a uh, little bit of aftermarket uh, addition that's going to charge that, what, three, four times faster? Yes. Okay, and that's going to also power. So you could be going down the road, getting solar power, getting truck power, and, uh, and that's gonna charge. Now, if, if the batteries are completely dead, we've got two batteries on that, they're completely dead, how long is, is this going to take to charge? Let's say you were to plug into shore power to, to charge things up before a trip. How long are you gonna to take to charge? So if you're plugged into 50 amp shore power, these both have 150 amps of charging. So you got 300 total. Okay. So you can charge those two batteries in three hours. Three hours, so easy, right? Okay, that's awesome. So um, is there anything else you could tell me about this? What uh, maintenance wise, safety wise, is there anything that the, the consumer might wanna know? Uh, there's a couple push to trip fuses in here, but all the fuses using is either auto reset or push to trip. So okay. there's nothing to ever replace. Okay. Um, it's top of the line, top grade cabling. Gotcha. Well, it does look, uh, it looks a little bit intimidating. I would encourage people to come take a look and uh, we've got it out here on the table. Let's go take a look at what it looks like in the coach and then we'll look at how it runs as well. So Dave, this is the battery. And boy, is it a battery. I mean, I've never seen a battery with uh, internet cables, you know, that can be plugged in. You've got power switches and this thing's big, right? So how big is this? How much power can this hold? Uh, so this has 400 true amp hours of battery power, so 5K. Wow, so in a lithium system, and I know a lot of people are looking at lithium nowadays, a lot of people are converting over to lithium. This is even, this is like lithium plus, right? Because, you know, a normal deep cycle battery maybe have 100 amp hours, it's only 50% usable. So this is the equivalent of what, eight normal batteries? Yes. Wow, okay, so what are some things that the consumer should know about this? I mean, there's uh, there's a lot to be known, and some people don't know much about lithium. First of all, are they safe? Yes, yeah. So this, first of all, has a metal case, which is nice. Um, industry leading small footprint. Uh, inside is an internal BMS, so that's a battery management system. That's gonna protect from overcurrent and undercurrent. 
It's gonna protect your investment and you personally. And it also has internal heat that you're gonna be able to actually charge when it's cold outside. Yeah, a lot of people in colder climates, you know, they, you know, with lithium, um, there's a little bit of limitation there, right? But this is actually going to self heat so that it can charge optimally. Well, that's great. So Dave, we get two of these in this package, right? So we're actually looking at the equivalent of 16 normal deep cycle batteries in a very small package. Yes. And so these are located out in the storage compartment. Um, they are expandable too. This is a scalable system, right? So if a customer um, you know, has the roof space, has the space for the batteries, how many batteries can they link up? So you can link up to eight batteries. Eight of these. So that's just ridiculous, right? You can run for a it's long time. It's for a very serious boondock. Gotcha. I, I don't know if you would ever need eight. Right, and you can put more panels in, you can put more solar controllers in. That's incredible. Um, and the storage aspect of this, you know, these go down front. The actual entire system doesn't take any any space as far as uh, uh, the things we looked at outside because they're all tucked up. Um, easily to get to, easy to get to for technicians, but it doesn't intrude in that storage space. The, batter the batteries are located down in the generator compartment. And then as you'll see in the front, the actual EOP box latches up top, the storage is still usable. Fantastic. Well, I'm excited to fire this thing up and see what it can do. Let's go. Okay, so the main power switch is right here. Now we're, for demonstration purposes, we are plugged in shore power. We're indoors, so we don't have a lot of solar, uh, but this is essentially what you do. You're gonna press this button here. It's gonna wake everything up, right? And so now this screen is going to show us a lot of information. Uh, right now, since we're charging, the battery is gonna show us our state of charge. We're at 99%. And uh, when we're using the battery, uh, that's going to change, right? It's gonna show that we're using it. Instead of time to full, it's gonna say time to empty, right? Or Yes. Okay, so now we're looking at a uh, a system that can show us that we're using uh, this much power right now and this is how long that power is going to last. And, and that updates in real time, right? It updates in real time. And uh, the green uh, SOC right now is in charging mode. When it goes into um, distribution, it's gonna go to blue. Okay, and so for people who wanna peek under the hood here, there's uh, inverter uh, status monitors here. So you can turn the inverter on and off. You can see all of the output and inputs. Uh, there's also the, the solar aspect of it here, solar one, solar two. You can see the uh, the amount of power that's coming in there. And then this is Bluetooth compatible as well, right? So there is an app you can use. You can use your phone and uh, all of this is very convenient. You can use it here or there, correct? Yes. It's available on Android and iOS. The Extreme Lithium package is available on all Solitude fifth wheels as well as Momentum M-Class fifth wheels and above. Reach out to your local dealer and see what Extreme Power is all about. <laughs>